welcome back to the channel. Uh, I uh, posted up a, uh, a little unboxing that the girls did for me uh, uh, the other day, uh, just as a little bonus video. Uh, also posted some pictures up on Instagram of what was in it, and uh, a few people said, oh, that's rather cool, what is it? So... I thought we would get the review done. Uh, this actually arrived uh, sometime last week, um, and the girls actually recorded the unboxing. Um, you know, several days. I've actually worn this for a few days. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look and see what we've got. Uh, as those of you that have seen the uh, unboxing probably know, this is a Casio, unusual Casio box. Nice uh, hard plastic and uh, quite a nice colour red actually. And then in the box we have your instruction book for the module number which is the 5420. All the usual stuff from Casio, the warranty card. I picked this up on eBay uh, so you can see it's this year's model. It's a current model and the number, it's one of those, the mtp dash. VD300SG and some more letters and numbers. They use a lot of letters and numbers. But anyway, here we go. Here's the watch. Comes on this little cushion, which is quite nice. And uh, as you can see, it's a uh, two-tone kind of bling bling sort of look to it. And uh, I've had a few people say to me, is that an edifice? No, it's not an edifice. It's, uh, it's actually uh, an enticer. So let's see if you're enticed by this. Um, we'll start as always with some measurements. Between the 8 o'clock and the 2 o'clock we are at 43 mil. Um, we have a lug to lug of 48.5. Uh, across the width including the crown and that is 45.5. Uh, we have a lug width of 22 mil and we have a thickness of 9 mil nice and thin um so it does actually wear really well and we have a weight um in, in its entirety of uh, only 112 grams uh, now even though it's all, it's all stainless steel it's all 316l stainless steel um lots of uh, high polish on the case um the the bracelet's actually quite thin and obviously rolled links um but let's have a look at the dial and we'll see what's going on there um now the you've got uh, your, all your hour markers are uh, they look like they they they're printed on I'm pretty sure they are not applied um and they do not have any loom in them either we'll come to the loom shortly uh it's a casio so I think you know what it's going to be like uh the subdial on the right hand side here is your date uh and it's just uh, you know plain black which has got that uh, that kind of gold um, ring around it and then down the bottom here you've got your 24 hour sub dial and the one on the left there at the nine o'clock position is your day of the week um, fence post style hands which are semi skeletonized uh, which are also in a gold tone and they do have some loom in them and then you have the gold tone arrow tip second hand which I think actually looks quite nice uh, the crown is uh, not a screw down crown but it is a, a two stage crown you pull it out to the first position and you can uh, adjust your date as you normally would and pull it out to the second position it's quartz movement so the movement hacks and um, uh, you can you can set your time uh, the sub dial over here to set the day of the week uh, uh, I'm afraid there is no quick set on that so you have to pull the crown out to the second position and wind the time around 24 hours until you get to your desired day um, on a good point though if you look at that second hand that is pretty much hitting all the marks it is not far off at all so there we go. If Casio can do it, said it before. Uh, the bezel is fixed, also in stainless steel. Uh, got these uh, graduations down to, to your first 20 minutes and then at 10 minute intervals after that. Um, as I said, the, uh, the bracelet is uh, folded lengths and it is also is quite thin as well. It's only 2.5 mil thick. So there you can see those wonderful folded lengths. Um, so yeah, that it is quite light um, and obviously a pressed clasp 
which is just a snap shut. And we do indeed have the Texas Rattlesnake Shake. Say that after you've had a couple of beers. Um, Casio is uh, pressed into that clasp, which is brushed. Uh, the rest of the, uh, the bracelet is brushed down the outside. And as you can see by my smudgy finger marks, we have high polished gold tone center links. Uh, on the case back, which is a push fit, uh, no screw down case back on this. So we only have 50 meters of water resistance. And uh, we, as you can see, we've got uh, hollow end links, which I'm pretty sure you would be expecting. Um, the, uh, the glass on this is a mineral crystal, no AR coating or anything like that. Um, but uh, I actually think the watch is quite a good looking thing. And uh, because it's only 112 grams, it looks like you've got quite a chunky watch on your wrist. Um, where in fact, you know, you, you kind of, it, it's, it, it's really easy to wear, really easy to wear. Um, so yeah, I mean, yes, I said about the loom, there is a little bit of loom on it and it is only a little bit of loom. So my batteries are failing in this. Not that it makes much difference because I think by the time I've switched the lights off, the, uh, the loom will have disappeared on this. So we'll give it as, uh, as much of a chance as possible. And then we'll drop the lights and then we'll have a look and see what's going on with that. There we go. Just on the hour and the minute hand. And uh, yeah, it doesn't last particularly long. Um, so, you know, it's kind of, it's Casio Loom. It's uh, kind of what you would expect, really. Uh, but yes, this is the uh, the Casio Enticer. So, you know, really, uh, do you feel enticed? Is this something that you would want to pick up? I mean, we all we all love a Casio. The thing is, you know, as collectors, you know, we're always on about, uh, you know, mechanical watches and all the rest of it. But Casio does seem to uh, to get quite a bit of love. Um, and I'm 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 one of those people. I, I really really enjoy the uh, a lot of the watches that Casio do. I think they've uh, they've got a really good range. Um, I mean, yeah, they're kind of cheap and cheerful, but I think they're actually fantastic. So uh, uh, price wise, uh, this thing varies. Uh, I've only actually seen it online, uh, available from around about seventy seven pounds was the lowest I saw. And the most I saw it for was 116. Um, I mean, I'm not going to leave any links if you just kind of grab the model number off the front end of this video. And if you fancy picking one up and just type that into Google, that should take you to a couple of online shops that I'd never heard of before that where you can pick one up. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That is the Casio Enticer, the MTP dash vd 300 sg uh, if you like this kind of content if you could give me a thumbs up that would be fantastic very much appreciated uh, if you would uh, like to subscribe to the channel please feel free don't forget to uh, like and comment let me know what your thoughts on these are uh, and basically any other casio that you can think of that you quite like um, but yeah that's it for now thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers for now.